Hey, what's up everybody? Richard Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, we're going to unbox, demo, and review this 12 terabyte plug and play game drive. Now this uses Play Night and it is 100% AAA titles on here. So there's over 390 AAA titles ready to be played on this drive. It simply connects over to your PC via USB 3 connection. There's a separate power supply cable for the game drive itself. And it currently is on sale for $198 on AliExpress. Now that's the price point at the time of this recording. Prices do fluctuate sometimes on what seems like a day-to-day -day basis. So keep in mind, it may fluctuate a little bit, may go up, may go down, but it should at least be in that ballpark. So around 200 bucks, you're getting 390 plus AAA titles on here. So we got to see what this is all about. We're going to unbox it. We're going to plug it into my PC. We'll do a virus scan on here to make sure there's no malware or viruses. And we're also going to tour through the entire thing so we know exactly what it includes. And of course, we're going to test it out as well. We'll jump into a handful of titles to see what the performance is like. Now, today in this video, I'm going to be attaching this to my HP Pavilion gaming PC, which is about mid-level in terms of gaming PCs, but it is still a gaming PC. You're going to want, in most cases, a gaming PC or at least a really high-end and powerful PC that has gaming capabilities because AAA titles are much more demanding than retro titles. And there's nothing retro on here. We don't have GameCube. We don't have PS2. We don't have Xbox. We don't have Super Nintendo, NES, none of that stuff. It's all 100% AAA titles today and over 390 AAA titles to be specific. So let's dive into it, unbox it, see what this has to offer. All right, guys, here's the box right here. We'll go ahead and open this up. So we have what looks like a user manual right here for the hard drive itself. Here's our 12 terabyte external hard drive. And if we remove this, you'll find all your cables inside. So here is our USB cable. This is what we're going to use if we're using this drive externally, which I think is how most people are going to use this. So all you have to do here, go ahead and open this up. You can see right up here, we have a power switch to turn this on and off. We have our DC 12 volt power supply connection. And then we also have our USB three connection right here. So all you're going to do is you're going to take this end of your USB three cable. You're going to simply plug that in just like that. And then the other end here, which is regular USB three is going to get plugged into your PC. That's all you have to do in terms of connecting this over to your PC, but we do have the power supply cable right here. This end is going to go into a power outlet and then this end plugs in directly here onto the drive to the DC 12 volt port. So that's all we have to do aside from, of course, powering this on with the switch right here. And then we're good to go. This also provides a little cushion here. So you can actually ap apply this underneath if you wanted to kind of sit it somewhere where it's padded a little bit. And then we also have a SATA connection too. If you decide to open this up and just SATA connect the hard drive within here and not use it externally. So definitely like the options, but we're going to go ahead and connect this over to our PC, boot it up. I'm going to scan it first, make sure there's no viruses or malware. And then we're going to dive into it and see what is offered on this currently external 12 terabyte hard drive with over 390 AAA titles. All right, guys, so I just connected this drive over to my PC. Now, all you have to do is just simply take that USB connection, plug that into your PC. Make sure that you have it plugged into the power outlet, though, to power it on. And, of course, flip the switch to on. You are good to go. It's going to pop up here on your file explorer. Now, I recommend always scanning anything that you haven't created yourself. So you didn't create this yourself. You can't verify who did or what their intentions were. So scan the heck out of it. Now, I just did that using Total AV. And you can see over here in the bottom right corner, Total AV has completed a malware scan. No threats were found. So I did a full virus scan. I actually used Total AV and I used a couple other things as well just to give this a once over. Everything for me came back clean. Doesn't mean that it will for you. So always scan everything. These are not all created at one point in time. They're probably not created by the same person every time. So you just never know what's going to be on here. So scan them. Make sure there's no viruses or malware. If there are, remove them. Um, or, you know, just make sure that you're not connected to like net the, you're, you know, you're not connecting this over to your network or anything like that. You know, if you don't want to do a malware scan, that would be my recommendation, but, um, you know, proceed at your own risk here. So inside here, since we didn't have any issues, I'm going to proceed. This is going to be entirely play night. So you can go to full screen or desktop, but what I recommend doing first is go down to direct X repair. And all this can be accessed by simply opening up your file explorer locating the hyperbase drive on the left hand column here and it opens up just like you guys see on screen so you're going to go into direct x repair double click on the direct x repair application it's going to go through and update a bunch of drivers on here if you're a gamer like me and you've been pc gaming on your pc you probably already have these so you probably don't have to do much of anything 
but let it do its thing here. It's going to update what it can update. If you're missing anything, it's going to download those automatically. Really an easy process to follow here. You literally just hit start and you are off to the races. It takes about 30 seconds to do. And it's going to give you way better performance on these games. If you don't do this, you're probably going to end up with a really laggy experience on a lot of these titles because these are all AAA titles. I don't know what's on here yet, but it says over 390 AAA titles. So I'm going to take them on their word so far. So let's back out. So I'm going to go into desktop over here. I just actually prefer that for you know streaming it the way that I use it. But I'll show you guys. This is how it looks over here in desktop mode. So you have your games on the left. And um, obviously everything else over here, you know, each title that you click on will populate in this way. But let me show you guys the other version because it looks a little bit different depending on what you prefer. This is going to have like background music though. All right, so you can see the difference there. I'm going to go with desktop just because I find it easier and it doesn't have the background music, so I can, you know, talk to you guys freely here. So, yeah, game list on the left-hand side, and then every time we click on something, populates it on the right. So over 390 games on here. That's pretty insane. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot here. Just scrolling through it. It is in alphabetical order, very easy to navigate. And... Um, I'm familiar with a lot of these just at first glance, but we're going to kind of comb through this. So 100 level dungeon, not familiar with that title. I have heard of it though. Uh, a Plague Tale Innocence. So I'm not going to, you know, announce every single one of these, but you can get a feel for what is offered here. Now this game right here, I'm actually dying to test out. I've yet to play this. So there's going to be some games that I try to jump into today that I've never played before. So Aliens, uh, Fireteam Elite. I've heard good things. We've got um, Ancient Gods over here, which I have heard of, never played. But Ark Survival Evolved, pretty cool game, actually. I've only played that once, very briefly. But this came out, um, when, did, when did this game come out? 2017. And this one over here came out when? This one came out about three years ago. And I've heard good things, like I said, but never, never got into that one. Always been a big Aliens fan, though. So we've got some Assassin's Creed over here. We've got Arma Reforja. That looks pretty cool. I like that style of game. So when did when was this released? So about two years ago this was released, or less than two years ago. And this game right here, I love this game. I actually have this on my desktop right now. Um, I extracted it from one of the other drives that I've reviewed, and I'm planning on using this with my racing wheel and pedal if I can ever get that situated because... Uh, I've been having some issues with that from the manufacturer, but this is an awesome racing game. If you like uh, Forza and stuff like that, you're going to love this game. Um, so yeah, Assassin's Creed's in here as Dusk Falls is in here. We've got Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Origins, Syndicate, Valhalla, um, Baldur's Gate 3 is in here. That's pretty awesome. So this game is, yeah, about four years old now. Batman Arkham Knight is a good one, and that one is, let's see, yeah, that's, that's an older one, but still, great game. Anybody that loves Batman will love that. Beach Invasion 1944 is a pretty cool one. I think I've tested that one out before. Beholder, Beholder 2, Below Zero. Biomutant, I love this game. Very cool and definitely an original title. Blair Witch, I didn't even know that was a game. How long has that been out for? Okay, about five years, wow. Well. Never even knew that that was a game. It's interesting to get game drives like this and you find stuff that you, you know, totally missed out on, even somewhat recently. Blind, Blind Fate, Boomerang X, Bright Memory, Brotato. I know a lot of people that love this game. Uh, Bum Simulator. Okay. Never tried that. Bus Simulator. They got some weird simulators, but there's a, there's a following behind those. Builder Simulator. I've seen that one. We've got some Call of Duty in here. Well, that one's not Call of Duty, but this one is Modern Warfare 2, Campaign Remastered, Modern War uh, Modern Warfare Remastered. That I remember when that game first came out. We've got Capcom Fighting Collection over here, Car Mechanic Simulator, Chernobylite, 
Chicken Police. Okay. I heard this. Some people told me to check this game out. And I checked it out recently. It's not my, it's not my thing, but to each their own. Um, I, I've heard great reviews on it. It just wasn't for me. Uh, Cloud Punk, Commandos 2, Conan Exiles. That looks interesting. I've never never played that one either. And I mean, all these titles I've rattled off so far were only to C in the alphabet. So we have a long way to go. Cyberpunk 2077, Cuphead's over here. Cult of the Lamb. Interesting. It looks like an interesting game. Dark Souls 3, Dark Souls Remastered, Dave the Driver, Days Gone, Dead Rising 4, Death Stranding. And let's see, Detroit Become Human. Never heard of it. Devil's Hunt. Double Dragon Gaiden. Double Dragon Trilogy. Dragon Ball. We've got, what else? Dying Light 2, Stay Human. Dying Light. We've got Drift 21. I've never played that either, I don't think. When did that come out? All right, so about four years ago. Dynasty Warriors. Love the Dynasty Warriors games. We've got Elden Ring, of course. Empire of Sin. Evil West. The Evil Within 2. Far Cry 5, 6. Primal over here. I mean, that's a pretty sweet game. Uh, Fist, Forged in Shadow Torched. Missed that one up there, but that's a good one. Farming Simulator 22. We've got Fast and Furious Crossroads here. We've got a bunch of Final Fantasies coming in. We've got Flippin' Cactus. We've got some Forza down here. That is awesome. I love Forza. Not, never never seen that one for the king. Uh, yeah, Forza Horizon 4, Forza Horizon 5, Generation Zero. That looks like an interesting one, too. See what I mean? I'm, I mean, I'm just finding new stuff that I've never tried out before. God Heater 3, God of War, and that's going to be, yeah, nice. That's a good one. Um, going Medieval, Gotham Knights. Grand Theft Auto 5. We have Grand Theft Auto 3, the Definitive Edition, San Andreas, Vice City, all Definitive Editions for each of those. We've got Grime over here, Grime Dawn. Oh, Grim Dawn, sorry. Guilty Gear. Yes, really good stuff here. Oh, wow. So usually I have been seeing um, a lot of Halo Infinite in here, uh, which is great. I, lo I love that game. Still have yet to complete it, to be perfectly honest, but love the game. But we have the Halo Master Chief Collection here, which I have on my Xbox. But this is pretty incredible because this has literally everything up to, uh, I want to say Halo 5 is not on here. I think that's the cutoff. So, I mean, you're getting a lot of Halo games on here. All right, we'll continue on. Helleborn. Okay, that seems like a helicopter game. Hellish Court. Looks pretty interesting. I'll have to check that out. A fighting game about sword dueling. Interesting. Definitely would check that out. Sounds like something I'd be into. We've got Hitman here. Now, this is Hitman from... When, when was this one dropped? 2016. Okay. Hitman 2. And that's going to be, obviously, not the, uh, the PS2 version. So, love Hitman 2, though. So, this is the 2018 release. We've got Hollow Knight, as we typically do. Classic game there. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Hot Brass. Hot Wheels Unleashed is pretty cool. Honey, Hunting Simulator 2, which I tested out last time. I tested out a drive like this. And I um, actually really enjoyed that game. Immortal Unchained. Inquisitor's Heart and Soul. We've got uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2. Just Cause 4 is a good one. King Arthur and Knight's Tale. I've heard good things about this, actually. I've never tried that one either. Kingdom Come Deliverance. Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, okay. It's been a long time since I've played a Kingdom Hearts game. 
Uh, Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker saga. That's actually a good one. I like that one. Um, and that, that's one that I was never into like, I would never understood Lego video games until I played a couple and they're actually pretty phenomenal. So that's pretty cool. Limbo's over here. Little Nightmares 1 and 2, which I'm a huge Little Nightmares fan, and the third one's coming out soon, so I think this is great. We've got, um, wow, a lot, of, a lot of great games here. We've got the whole saga of this one. Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. Mafia 3 Definitive Edition. Now, these are my games right here. Love Mafia. I remember when the first one came out on original Xbox, and I believe it was on PS2 as well was all about that game. It was my favorite game at the time. And um, each one of these has never disappointed me. So I love Mafia 2, love Mafia 3, the definitive editions, and of course the original one, uh, which, you know, it's not on here, but I guess we can complain about that because I, I love that game as well. All right, so we've got Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. We've got Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered, Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales. I mean, Spider-Man fans, Marvel fans... They've got you covered here. Uh, Mass Effect. We've got Metal Dogs, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. We've got Monster Hunter World, Monument Valley. We've got MotoGP 22. Awesome game right there. Um, what else do we have here? NBA 2K20, 21, 22, 23. That's a pretty sweet uh, collection there. Necromunda, Hired Gun. That looks interesting. I've never played that. Neon um, Abyss, we've got No More Heroes 3, Nobody Saves the World, we've got Payday 2 is a pretty cool one, I actually have that on my Xbox, um, I don't play it for terribly long though, Please Shoot Out, I can't remember if I've tried that one or not, I feel like I have, Power Wash Simulator, if you want to power wash some stuff, definitely uh, got you covered there, Prison Architect, Project Cars 2, Project Cars 3, Prototype 2, pretty cool, Rage 2, Red Dead Redemption 2, Red Out 2, Resident Evil 0, Resident Evil, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 4. Why is 5 ahead of 4? Maybe because they capitalized it? That's strange. Anyways, uh, Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil Revelations 2, Resident Evil Village, Ride 4, okay. So, Resident Evil fans, they've got you covered here. That is awesome. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, that's a good one. I played that recently, actually, Samurai Showdown, uh, and a couple of those as well. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Ultimate Edition. Shadow Warrior, 1, 2, 3. She Sees Red. Shelter 2. Wow. I know a lot of people will like that one there. Sniper Elite 3. actually recently played this as well. Awesome game. Sniper Elite V2 Remastered. I actually, yeah, that, that might be my favorite one right there. Uh, Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. I love Sniper games, so these are awesome. Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2. Wow, there, there's a tremendous amount of stuff on here. Um, Sonic Forces, Soul Calibur 6, Speed Brawl, Soul Cal yeah, we got Soul Calibur, Spirit of the North, Star Wars Battlefront 2, StarCraft, all right, Star, oh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, that is pretty sweet too, that's a good one, StarCraft 2, State of Decay 2, Steel Assault, Stray, Street Fighter 5, all right, Streets of Rage 4, Streets of Rogue. Sudden Strike 4. All right, Tekken 7. Love Tekken 7. Oh, we've got Shredder's Revenge on here. Actually, you know what? The last time I tried to jump into this game on one of these drives, it didn't work, but I have played it, and it's an awesome game, so I'm going to just check it out on here and make sure that it does work. Terminator Resistance. Now, I never played this game, but I am a pretty big fan of Terminator and Terminator games, so definitely want to check that out. The Dark Pictures Anthology, we've got a bunch of these, which I'm not familiar with firsthand, but I have heard good things. Um, the House of Da Vinci 2, The King of Fighters 2002 Unlimited Match, The Last of Us Part 1, The Last Stand Aftermath, The Sims 4, 
Wow, I mean, this is, this is just an insane amount of titles here. Titanfall 2 is a good one. Ghost Recon Wildlands. Splinter Cell Blacklist. So you got some Tom Clancy in here. Total War Rome Remastered. I loved the Total War games back in the day. I haven't played those in so long, but I bet I would love that game. Tribes of Midgard, which I have actually heard of recently. That seems like my type of game right there. Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. Hmm. Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection right here. Untitled Goose Game. The heck? Not sure of that one. Vampire Survivors. Uh, I've actually meant to check that out after jumping into the last drive that I reviewed. Warhammer 40,000 um, Battle Sector. That looks pretty interesting right there. Lots of weird stuff here that is new to me that I really want to jump in and test out. Werewolf, The Apocalypse, Earthblood. The Witcher 3 is in here. Wolfenstein. Wow, oh wow, there's a lot of Wolfenstein games. I love those games. So we've got The New Colossus, which is an awesome title. I don't know if that's the last one I played or... I get all these confused. I forget the order of things, but I've played all three of these, and they're awesome. I love what I w love what that franchise has become. And the studio behind it is now making the new Indiana Jones game, too, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so we've got the New Order. We've got Youngblood over here. I'm, you know what? I think this might be the last one that I played. Um, all right. World of Final Fantasy, Maxima. World War Z Aftermath. WRC8. I love these. Wreckfest. WWE 2K Battlegrounds, which I recently played for the first time, and it's actually pretty cool. Kind of a throwback style to it. Yakuza 6. Um, actually, a lot of Yakuza's. Wow, we got one, two, three, four Yakuza games. I haven't played all of them, but I've played some, and they are pretty sweet. Uh, Yoku's Island Express. That seems like an interesting title there. I've never played that either. And then um, Yamawari Lost in the Dark. All right, so, I mean, that's a ton of titles here. Now, let me go over here and see if I can count these without having to actually count them. So 392 titles. There we go, because I don't want to go one by one through here. All right, guys, so I was just going through here, and, of course, we went through the Play Night sections here, as you guys saw. But I saw this a gift for you down here, and I was like, all right, hold on. There's not 390 games in the Play Night side of things here. So I was like, all right, well, that's kind of strange, right? So I go down here to this A Gift for You section in here, and I'm thinking, what's going to be in here? We open this up, and there's Retrobat in here. So I just jumped into this, and I went over to Retrobat, and take a look at this. This is pretty incredible. It launches Retrobat, and inside here we have a ton of game collections. So this is a sweet gift. I mean, this is a huge added bonus. So let's comb through this now because I was expecting this. I mean, there's no mention of retro games on here. It's all AAA titles. So this is a pretty sweet added bonus. So let's see. We've got GameCube here with 75 games. I mean, that's not a little gift. That's massive. Let's see what's included in here. So we've got 1080 um, Avalanche here. We've got Aggressive Inline. So let's see what we have. This is This is pretty sweet. And I mean, it's well put together we have exactly the layout that i personally love we have the box art down there in the bottom left corner the video preview up here i did disable the audio just so you guys can hear me and you don't have to you know try to hear me over audio in the background but there's music playing on here uh, i heard some twisted sister which was pretty cool we've got audio as well for the video previews that you see on screen so really sweet setup here Donkey Konga, we've got uh, Crazy Taxi here, Dr. Muto, uh, or Muto, we've got Fire Emblem, Gun, love this game, awesome game there, Hitman 2, Hunter, The Reckoning, some Tomb Raider, some Star Wars, Mario Kart Double Dash, I mean that for me is the ultimate test for a GameCube collection, if you don't have this, you don't know your GameCube um, titles, you know, you don't know what people want, so we also have Mario Party 5, um, all right, I mean, there are some other Mario titles missing here from what I can gather, but still, Mario Double Dash for me, Mario Kart Double Dash is, you know, the top one. So at least they have that. Mario Party 5 is probably the second one for me. 
I mean, they can get some other ones in here for sure. But Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime Echoes, these are both, you know, on my list. Got to have them. A little bit of basketball in here. If you're going to choose a sports game, this is the one to choose. I will give them that. Uh, I, I personally love sports games. I know a lot of people don't. Uh, I love sports. And I love racing. And this is another good one over here. Got a little NHL. Some Paper Mario's here. That's good. Good stuff. Got some Sonic, Soul Calibur, also on my list. Star Fox Adventures and Assault. Monkey Ball. We've got Super Smash Brothers Melee, which you got to have that too. So there's definitely some other Mario titles that they should add to just kind of complete the uh, collection, in my opinion. But this is still very good. All right, moving on. We have Game Boy Advance here with, um, well, just 2,782 titles. So uh, that seems like a high count, I'll be perfectly honest. So we do have um, what looks like duplicates in here. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't know anybody that's really... I mean, realistically, how many people are coming on here and saying, let me let me just dive into Game Boy Advance and, uh, you know, play my way through. So, yeah, there's there's too many titles. There's duplicates. It is what it is. I really don't care because this is all an added bonus. So my review on this is good already just on the fact that they provided us some extra stuff. I'm not going to hold them to the fire there. Two games for Nintendo Wii. What games are they? Donkey Kong Country Returns, Star Wars, um, Three, The Clone Wars. Okay, cool. I'm not familiar with that Star Wars Lego game, but I'm certainly familiar with Donkey Kong Country Returns. Awesome game. Again, happy to have anything on here because this is all a bonus. Nintendo Wii U. Two games on here. Mario Kart 8. I mean, that's pretty phenomenal. The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. So um, for me, this is a huge win, Mario Kart 8. So we'll back out. Now we also have over here MSU1 from uh, Super Nintendo. So... Let's see. This is the add-on ship, of course. So how many titles are on here? Let me go back out there. Uh, 13 games in here. So again, just an added bonus. But damn, they've got my favorites here. Donkey Kong Country. Uh, 1 through 3. So that's awesome to see. Mega Man 7, Ma Mega Man 10. Um, what else do we have here? Our type of Super Mario Kart. Super Mario RPG. Legend of the Seven Stars. Good stuff. Lion King. There you go. If you want to get frustrated with that one, that always frustrates me. It's a good game, though. All right, sweet. Good selection. Now, Nintendo Switch, 12 games. Wow. Okay. We've got Borderlands, Game of the Year Edition. We've got Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. We've got Enter the, the Gungeon. We've got Flashback. Great stuff here. Splatoon 2. That's actually a pretty sweet game. Recently discovered that one. Uh, a little bit late on it, but... Oh, and Sonic Forces. I just ran right by Sonic Forces there. Good stuff. Super Mario Odyssey. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I mean, damn. Good stuff here. This one, of course. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I mean, that's pretty damn recent. All right, we'll back out of that one. We've got ports over here. Three ports. All right. Typical stuff there for ports. Now we've got a Thomas Wave here, 23 games. If I'm going to be nitpicky. I don't like the way it's laid out, but hey, it's a bonus. I'm not going to get worked up about it. I would just do the logos on the right and not just have the same image fluctuating. You know, every time you move down the line, it's the same image three times over. But, you know, it's a review video. I got to be picky about something because so far this is a home run. I was not expecting anything retro. And I mean, this is a solid collection. I like the hunting game the most there. Sega SG-1098 games. We'll see how this is laid out. Similar to the last one there. My favorite James Bond there. Can't go wrong with Sean Connery. So nicely put together. Sega Genesis next with 1,206 games. Again, same layout. What was that? Looks like some topless women there. Okay. Got some good stuff. Actually, in my live stream earlier, somebody was asking, are there any adult games on here? I said, no. This one might be an adult game. I mean, it looks like we've got a, a topless lady over there. This would be the, uh, it would be a foreign release if, uh, if you're going to find any of those. All right, keeping it moving. Sega Game Gear here with 406 games. So, again, same sort of layout here. Great collection. Sega Genesis 32X. 37 titles. 
So each of these retro collections on here, or more of the retro side of things, obviously GameCube was a different layout, but they seem to share this sort of um, streamlined setup where it's just doing the cover art three times over. We don't have video previews, but you know this is an added bonus, and they're trying to save on space. So 50 games here for Sega Dreamcast. Looks like we're going to get some video previews on this one. Let's dive into it. So we're going to kick it all off up here, and we've got Capcom versus SNK2. Millionaire Fighting 2001, Crazy Taxi 1 and 2. We've got D2 in here, which I believe is a four-part game, so that makes sense that we're having the duplicates over here as opposed to Game Boy Advance, where we were just having duplicates uh, for the hell of it. Dead or Alive 2, Evolution 2. We've got our Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and 2 in here. Power Stone 1 and 2. We've got our Resident Evil titles. We've got San Francisco Rush 2049. We've got... This guy right here, which is everybody that loves Dreamcast, loves that game. I personally never got into it, but a lot of people are big fans. Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, Soul Calibur over here. Street Fighter games. We've got The House of the Dead 2. Love that game. It's one of my favorites. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. I mean, come on. That is... Oh, and Virtua Tennis. These are my two favorites personally. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going to test out a couple games on this side of things just to make sure they work, of course, but... Awesome. Uh, ZX Spectrum over here, 8,139 games. Okay, that's a whole hell of a lot. Um, this isn't a collection that I personally dive into ever, but hey, I don't even care if there's duplicates because, again, it's an added bonus, and these take up almost no space at all. So backing out, we've got Neo Geo over here, 151 games. That seems to be on point. This is where you're going to find all your Metal Slug favorites. Um, you're going to find your... Uh, Art of Fighting games in here. Lots of great stuff can be found in here. The baseball games are pretty sweet too. Neo Geo Pocket, 82 games. Not going to jump into that one. Uh, Neo Geo Pocket Color, 89 games. Not going to jump in there. PlayStation, 69 games. This is original PlayStation. So I imagine we're going to have some Tony Hawk Pro Skater. I saw a little preview there. We have the video previews for this. We have that ideal layout, in my opinion, again. So the higher end, or later collections, rather. I call them higher end. They are higher end, but... Um, they have the layout that I like, where we have the video preview, the cover art, and the logo. Diablo's in here. Great stuff, Digimon. Takes, takes me back to my elementary school days. Final Fantasy's in here, GTA 2. Um, wow, I mean, just great selection of games. I mean, if you were going to streamline PlayStation, this seems to have most of the titles that I personally am into. And do we have Tekken? Ah, they dropped the ball on Tekken, Okay. All right, we got, oh no, here's Tekken, Tekken 2. We got to have Tekken 3. All right, so we got Tomb Raider at least. Tony Hawk Pro Skater, not 2, okay. Well, we got it for Dreamcast. That's how I would play it personally anyways. So certainly not broken up about that, but all right, pretty sweet nonetheless. Uh, PS2, whoa, 117 PS2 games, and this is almost our last one. PSP, we have 97. Um, I don't care so much about uh I don't care so much about PSP, but let's take a quick peek because I want to spend a little bit more time in PS2, especially with that larger number. So we do seem to have some PSP minis games in here. Uh, actually, maybe not. A few of them look like that, but no, we have... These are all full-form PSP games. Did I see... There might be a few thrown into the mix here, but the majority of these are you know, full-form PSP games. All right, so let's go into PS2, and this is 117 games. I mean, that is friggin' incredible. Um, Black's a good one. Love that game. Uh, Bully's good. Burnouts. Got all the burnouts, it looks like. Dead to Rights 1 and 2. Devil May Cry. What is that? Devil May Cry. We got 3. Special Edition 3 and Regular 3. Okay. Um, what else do we have? And I apologize if I'm driving you nuts with that little dinging. I should have disabled that. Final Fantasy's in here. Gran Turismo's in here. Grand Theft Auto's are all in here. Guitar Heroes. They've got... That looks like maybe all of the guitar... If they're missing one, they're missing one or two at the most. I mean, that's pretty much... I think that's all of them, honestly. Jack and Daxter. Jack 3. Kingdom Hearts. Looks like all the Kingdom Hearts. Bunch of Tomb Raiders. Manhunt 1 and 2. Max Payne 2. No Max Payne 1, though. I've seen that a lot lately, too. Mercenaries, Metal Gear Solid games, Metal Slug Anthology, Need for Speed games. 
and you can disable, if I didn't say it enough already, you can disable this little dinging sound. I was ignoring it at first. Now it's starting to annoy the hell out of me. Um, and if I'm able to disable that dinging sound in um, in editing, I will do that for you guys. So if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, it's because I was able to get it out of here. Silent Hill games, Sly, um, Honor Among Thieves, Sly Cooper, and the Thievist Raccoons. Um, great titles. Soul Calibur 2 and 3 is in here. Spider-Man, SSX games, all of them. Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2. Um, although, wait. Okay. Oh, I didn't see the two in the background of the logo there. Perfect. The Warriors game. Tomb Raider, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. So, yeah, I mean, this is pretty sweet. And, of course, WWE, SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain, my all-time favorite of the SmackDown games. Wow. Okay. I mean, talk about a gift for you, as they put it. That's pretty sweet. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot we landed on GameCube. We didn't start at the all games list. Huh, there's more. Okay, so 38,264 games on here. What? Favorites we can add. Favorites we can adjust our settings in here on the RetroBet settings. We've got Amstrad, GX4000, 25 games. Final Burn Neo, 98 games. MAME, 2,116 games. All right, and, it's, and it shares that basic sort of layout, but still, I mean, who cares at this point? Uh, Atari 2600, 5200, and we have how many games here? 855, we have 95, we have 65 for 7800, Jaguars got 64. Sufami Turbo has 2,449 games. Wonder Swan has 113 games. Wonder Swan Color has 91 games. Oh, Coleco Vision has 146 games. This is going to be a long video. And Television has 146, or excuse me, 149 games. MSX One has 605. MSX Two has 637. This is very common here. You notice that the logo is in here twice, but this one is um, SS, SFX Two Plus. So the logo on the wheel there is the same, but this is the plus. So nine games here. Turbo Graphics 16, 298 games. Game and Watch 59 games. NES, 1,933 games. Game Boy, 1,526. So we do have more titles than we should for Game Boy. I will say that. But I believe they're probably going to give us the Japanese releases, and that's confirmed right here right off the bat. So um, that being said, it's it's really not out of the question then when you're considering foreign releases as well. Uh, we have Super Nintendo, 761 games. So you will have a lot of crossover between this and what we were already in up here with, um, what was it, Sufami. Um, so we have Super Game Boy here. And I'll, and I'll point this out because I already know how this is going to pan out. $12.89, let's drop down two collections, $12.89. So these collections, Super Game Boy and Game Boy Color, exactly the same collection. I, I'll prove it right here. Notice we're on 007 The World Is Not Enough. We go to 10-pin bowling. We go to 102 Dalmatians, Puppies to the Rescue. I could do this with my eyes closed because I know how every one of these game drives is set up when going through this collection. So those three in a row will go right up here. Look at that. Those three in the same row. Same number, same collection. So they're padding the numbers here, but they're not advertising it. So who cares? doesn't matter in this case. Nintendo 64, 451. I mean, 451's on point. There's foreign releases in here, but we're going to have all of our favorite collection, or excuse me, all of our favorite games in this collection. I'm a wrestling fan from way back when, uh, so I'm going to just look for my WWF games. we got No Mercy. We've got Attitude up here, which I don't play, but No Mercy is a good one. Warzone, don't play it, but it's a good one. Um, well, no, it's not a good one. I don't play it, though. It's got a good cover. I'll give it that. WWF WrestleMania 2000, this is a good one, and I do play it. Now let's check out WCW. All right, we've got uh, Backstage Assault, which they can throw that in the trash. Nothing against them for putting it on here. you got to, you know, put everything that you can on here, but that's a terrible game. But they have it. That's cool. WCW Mayhem, WCW Nitro, and my all-time favorite, WCW NWO Revenge. And we also have, of course, World Tour. So they are on point here with this collection. We're going to back out. Game Boy Color, we already know it's in there twice, but it seems to be uh, foreign releases, so it would account for the extra number of games there. And we are back to where we started with Game Boy, uh, excuse me, with GameCube. So, wow, uh, 
what a sweet gift on here. To add that in here is absolutely phenomenal. So let's, uh, let's back out of here. And um, we're going to dive into uh, some tests. Actually, we'll, we'll stay right here and I'll dive into a few of these games, test these out. And we're also, of course, going to test out the AAA titles on play night as well. So yeah, pretty sweet. <laughs> All right, guys, we unboxed this. We combed through exactly what this has to offer. And I'm blown away because never have I come across anything that gives you more bang for your buck than what is advertised. So they're advertising over 392 AAA titles. 
We've got 392. That lines up perfectly. I'm happy with that alone, but I found that there is Retrobat on here in the files. I opened it up, and there's thousands of retro games on here. And you can remember from the intro to this video, I said this does not have anything retro on it. It's purely AAA titles. And there's an entire massive collection of retro bat, uh, retro titles on here. So we comb through that. Excellent GameCube collection, excellent PS2 collection, N64, phenomenal, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, NES, uh, PlayStation, Dreamcast, tons and tons of great stuff. Nintendo Switch, Wii, Wii U. I mean, they've got you covered here. I will say this, the emulators are outdated, several versions outdated, but I wouldn't recommend necessarily going in here and updating because who knows if that's going to cause issues. Everything that I tested out in this video was everything stock, you know, as you would launch into these games. I didn't make any adjustments to anything within settings or emulators on here. So I had a good experience with everything on Retrobat. And then we jumped over, of course, to testing out Play Night. And we tested out some AAA titles. For the most part, everything was very good. There were a couple titles that were in either Chinese or Japanese. Um, I was not able to you know, read what was being said there, but I did figure out after the fact how you can go in there, make some adjustments, and get everything brought over to English. So you know, a couple workarounds here and there, but really amazing bang for your buck here. Really phenomenal experience gaming on AAA titles and then the retro side as well. Another thing I'll mention as it's coming to me again, within the Switch emulator, it didn't have the controls mapped by default, but it was a very simple process. You just go into the Yuzu emulator, you go into your control settings, and you just simply you have to go down to a uh, controller option and you pick your controller. It'll you know show you the options based on what you have connected or whatever it's registering. And you just simply select it, hit apply, hit OK, and you're good to go. You can map all of your games in one shot. It takes about five or six seconds. So a little small work around there, but in the end, it's uh, no big deal. And it's amazing that we have all that stuff that you know is totally additional. It's not advertised. We're so used to seeing game drives that advertise like 30,000 games and when you go through it there's all these duplicates and what you end up actually getting is more like probably 2,000 or 3,000 games because there's so many damn duplicates so it's really exciting to see something like this that doesn't have that going on yes there's a duplicate section within Retrobat I could care less I mean it's an entirely you know unadvertised side of this drive that you know we didn't even expect to get our hands on so if they gave us extra games or a totally duplicated collection how can i complain about something like that so really love what this offers um, obviously you know assess everything here and decide if it's right for you if you're looking for AAA titles and you want something like this then by all means i'll provide you guys with a link in the description of this video but in my experience it was great so now i do want to make mention of this i scanned this for malware and viruses and i had no threats on here i scanned it actually three times over with different software I hooked it up to different PCs to scan it with different software. Everything on the drive was safe for me. That doesn't mean it's going to be safe for you because you're not getting the exact same drive as me. You might watch this video a week from now, a day from now, six months from now, and go out and buy something like this or this product exactly, and it will be different. So scan everything that you get. If you haven't set it up yourself, you haven't configured it yourself, scan it. Scan it 10 times over if you have to. Just make sure there's no viruses or malware on your drive. And this goes for anything, not just game drives, not just hard drives, not just SSDs. I've seen cases where people get PCs brand new out of the box and they have malware or viruses on there because you don't know where they were set up, who set them up, what their intentions were, just anything that you get that you're bringing home to your network, scan it. So that's my PSA for today. Again, nothing against the guys that have put this drive together or any other drives out there. It's just my PSA in general, and I'm going to be saying it a lot in my videos because it's something that I've experienced firsthand where people are trying to get my information. Literally just yesterday at the time of this video, somebody sent me an email pretending to be YouTube, trying to gain access to my YouTube channel here. So we're in a weird time where there's a lot of people out there trying to do wrong and trying to gain access to a lot of your personal information. So again, scan your drives, scan your computers, scan everything. Make sure that you're safe. Make sure that you're secure. That's it for today, though. Let me know what you guys think of this drive in the comments of this video. If you enjoyed the content today, please give me a thumbs up on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube, but absolutely love everything that was offered here today. Give me your thoughts. That's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll put a link up here at the top of your screen as well as in the description for this product, but 
take care. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.